hello and welcome in this video and many other videos to come my aim is to teach you how to do computer vision and um, deep learning stuff with python and the reason i decided to do these videos is i have tried different approaches to learn computer vision and deep learning in python and um, the different approaches landed me at different destinations where I was not satisfied with my skill set and the knowledge I have gained, even though I had read too many books and um, watched so many video tutorials and learned from random sources, but I was still not happy. So what I realized was there are two ways of teaching machine learning in general according to what i discovered during my um, learning phase the first one is um, the approach where you are taught all the mathematics that is needed to build deep neural networks and um, at the end of taking all these courses you are not able to implement even the most simple form of um, deep networks to do any useful stuff and there is the other end where you are taught how to build neural networks and do computer vision with libraries and um, you also do not understand the mathematics behind the scenes okay now i i used to struggle a lot with this because i am this person who isn't satisfied until i know how stuff work i mean behind the scenes but um i got the best advice ever which said um, when it comes to machine learning, computer vision stuff, artificial intelligence in general, the traditional approach of teaching is not um, the very best. And I tend to side with the writer of that article. I will try to find a link and then share in one of these videos. But what the writer was suggesting is that we should learn backwards. So essentially what he was talking about is we should learn how to use um, already made libraries to build neural networks and machine learning modules and then once we 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 get a feel of how these things work we can go back to learn the mathematics and then everything fits together and trust me once i took that approach it worked for me okay it worked for me and that is the reason why i am recording these videos i'm going to use the same approach so we will start by me showing you how to um, do computer vision in general, how to process images and videos, how to do object detection, um, face detection and um, object tracking and stuff like that. And after, so, after the computer vision modules, I'm going to start teaching you how to use libraries like Keras, TensorFlow and um, Scikit-Learn to build machine learning models. And once we are done with these, I will start showing you some of the mathematics behind the scenes, okay? The beauty about this approach is that it keeps the motivation high. Once you're able to build cool stuff, once you're able to let um, machine learning modules do wonderful things for you, you are, you are motivated to learn the mathematics as opposed to when you start learning the mathematics and you have no practical feel of how things work, okay? So... Like I said in the beginning, the idea is to give you a um, straightforward approach to learning computer vision and uh, machine learning, deep learning stuff with Python. And so the only assumption I'm making here is that you know how to program in Python and you are enthusiastic, you are, you are eager to learn and um, you are motivated to keep trying things no matter how long it takes for you to understand because i mean when it comes to learning machine learning and um, deep learning you need you need determination and um, your motivation should be high all the time you don't have to give up because you are always going to hit roadblocks and you have to keep trying things to to get to get some result okay so Without wasting your time, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer for all these things we are going to do. And because we are going to start with machine learning, I'm sorry, um, computer vision, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer for um, computer vision work. Okay, so I'm going to change to my desktop and I'm going to make a folder. Let me call it computer vision. Okay, let me just call it CV. 
okay so i have a folder called cv and then i will change into cv so as you can see there is nothing in here and i'm going to use python to create a virtual environment if you don't know what a virtual environment is um you can check my playlist on um, flask application development and i have a video that explains specifically what virtual environment is but basically it's giving you um a standalone instance of python that is per project so that the libraries and um, the different versions of libraries you install are not going to um, be in your global python installation so it gives you more like a sandbox python for each project that you create okay so i'm going to call it env and after a while it will be created it is done now so when i ls you can see that let me clear whoa so i actually named it emv and then i added the uh, angle brackets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the emv folder minus rf and mind you i'm doing this because of the mistake i made earlier i added uh, angle brackets so i'm going to create it again python 3 minus mv 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 okay <laughs> okay so now my virtual env is created and i'm going to activate it as always so i'm going to do source env bin activate so now you can see that my virtual environment is activated and i'm going to install the dependencies we need to be able to start doing computer vision with python um we need one um numpy is a numerical computation library so i'll say pip install numpy okay and after a while it will like i said it's done installing numpy already and i'm also going to install matplotlib for plotting graphs okay so matplotlib is also done installing and i'm going to do pip install open cv hyphen python this is actually the core library we need to be able to do machine learning i'm um, sorry computer vision with python and i'm also going to do open cv hyphen country hyphen python and then this is also um add-on to the open cv library so let me see what i have installed so far pip list okay so i have numpy matplotlib opencv and i think um, we are ready to go with um, these dependencies already set up so thank you for watching this video and um, in the next video i'm going to show you how to load images and do cool stuff okay so see you in the next video